cable adjustment procedure. Um, we've got a loose cable here. It'll be a little easier to see from here. All I'm going to do is push on the tab. That's the release tab. I'm going to push that down. I'm going to slide my cable back toward the firewall. We'll do it on the car here in a second. Once I get that tab slid, it, everything slid back, I let go of my tab. Extremely important, let go of the tab. Do not hold that down. Push it down, slide it back. Push it down, slide it back, and let go of the tab. Now, all i got to do is ratchet my throttle wide open from out here. I'll hear it go click, 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 and it'll be locked in place. That's all i got to do. We'll do it on the vehicle now. Take, get the tab pushed in. I use a little screwdriver to come in here. I'll push it in. Now it's locked back all the way. It was slid forward. I've just pushed it in, locked it back all the way. Now all i got to do is go full throttle. If you listen carefully, we should hear it snap. There it just snapped, which means it self-ratcheted out to the right spot. Now I've got gap down in here. I've got about a half inch gap. It's probably sitting in there about like that. All right. Now I can fine tune a little if I need, but I don't want to go more than maybe an eighth of an inch either direction. If I do, i got other issues. And that's all you have to do. Remember to let go of this tab. A lot of people push the tab down and keep it pulled down, pushed down, and then open the throttle, and you've got no resistance on your cable, and it'll zap too far ahead. So be sure you release your thumb off of your locking tab. Locking tab must be released before you go full throttle. Back all the way, push in the tab, let go, full throttle it, and it'll, it'll slide out. All right? Finger off the tab when you lock it. That's it.